Hey guys, this is Shauna with Thimble Threads, and I am going to show you how to apply our new uh, thinner, easier to apply magic band skins to your match band. Um, so the things that you're going to need are your instruction card that comes with every shipment um, alcohol. And the very first thing you do is you go and you go to our YouTube channel and locate the appropriate video for your skin. There's different kinds. There's printed, foil, super sparkle. You find the one that matches the kind of skin you ordered and it will show you exactly the best way to apply that skin. Um, so that's the first thing to do is watch the video. There's also these very important tips and tricks for if you're having any kind of difficulty right down here. So be sure number 10 if you need it. Uh, alcohol. You want to take alcohol and clean the entire colored surface of your band um, and allow it to dry five minutes. As you can see, I've got a timer here so you can always set it and be ready. You need a blow dryer. This is the most important part of the process right after magic band and skin. So here we go. Here's what we're going to do. Okay, so I've already cleaned this and weighted. It is entirely dry. So it's ready to go. I have not removed the outer gray band, which would make it child size because this one's for me and I don't want to. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the short side. The short side has the holes uh, pre-punched into it. And what you do is you take your backing here, you fold it back and it pops right off just like that. You're going to grab it from the sides like that. And you can see that the little holes, if they don't pop out and stick to here, they're really easy to just push out because they're already cut. And you want to line it up with the last hole here. If you don't get it lined up right, it will overlap the center, which is not what you want to do. So hold it here. Make sure this band is rounded or it will not fit properly. And then you can just slide it straight up Staying within the colored area, going straight up right to the center, straight up to the center, out one side, out the other side. Now initially what you're going to see is that it wants to lift and bubble. So that is where the amazing wonder of heat comes in. So what you're going to want to do is take your blow dryer. Mine has a concentrator on it, which helps me a great deal. And you're going to heat it until it's pretty warm. And that actually helps it conform to the material of the magic band because the magic band is like a weird silicone and it doesn't want things to stick to it so that it stays clean while you're out in the parks. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit it with our heat. And again, you want to get it pretty warm. And while it's warm, go ahead and smooth, 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 smooth. This is the most important part of the process, is the application of heat. Because that is what makes it work. Anything, like there's I still have one little spot right here. Give me a little grief. Hit it again. Heat is your friend. And I'm using, I mean, a good deal of force here to smooth this out. And as you can see, boom, adhered wonderfully. So we're going to pop on over to the long side because the long side, it actually rests, it overlaps right here in the center. So here we go. Same thing, line it up. We've started cutting out these little Mickeys to give you a better idea. And I'm gonna go ahead and latch this. My husband swears that it helps it a little bit easier. So line it up right around your Mickey. Again, hold it right on the end. Going straight up the center. Uh, 
up the center, one side, two sides. I'm going to go ahead and leave it latched, keeping it in our nice rounded position. And again, heat. I went ahead and give it a nice once over again. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the center. You can either do the full puck cover or just the Mickey. I've got just the Mickey here, so that's what I'll do. Lining up. Let's see if I can angle this so that I can see and so that you can see. Lining up with the little ears. Get it in position. And you can move it a little bit before you push it down. And then once it's down, you want to rub it so that you can see that raised detail through the through the skin here. Now, as you can see, this puppy is on awesome. It's so much easier now that we've got this like new thinner material. Uh, you do really need to get it pretty warm. Uh, and once you do, if there's a spot that does want to keep lifting or anything like that, heat it until it's warm and then hold it until it is cool. Hold it in place down, leave it latched, makes your life so much easier. Uh, and then what you can do, what we recommend doing is, I like to come down and give these, make sure they're overlapped really well. Uh, leave it latched for 30 minutes, walk away. When you come back after 30 minutes, if anything is lift, lifted, bubbled, anything like that, more heat, more holding, and then leave it for 24 hours so that it has a good opportunity to cure onto the band. And then you are good to go, water, shower, park days, anything like that. As you can tell, much thinner, much easier to apply. This is the way to go. Any questions, concerns, shoot us a message. We will be all over it, happy to help any way that we can. Uh, it saves a lot of time if you go ahead and just send us a picture. But when in doubt, keep it round. It should not overlap this centerpiece. Keep it round, keep it hot. Hold it in place. And again, it's really important to give it that 24 hours to let it cure really well. So that is it. We look forward to hearing from you.